I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. You should have married Henry Posset. Henry? I didn't want to marry Henry Posset. You are tired, that's all. You need a really good break. You need a month off, Reggie. Yes, well, I can't just now, not when we're setting up this exotic ISIS project. Ask CJ for a holiday tomorrow. You've never had a whole month off. Uh, what's going to happen to all those exotic ISIS? There's a sad, deprived nation out there, desperate for mango delight, fig surprise, strawberry and lychee ripple. Now you go in to see CJ tomorrow and you tell, tell him... where him... to stick his fig surprise. Yes, I'm... <laughs> I just might. Be firm and masterful. Yes, I will. I will. Are you quite sure I ought to be firm and masterful? Of course you should. Right, then I will. God, here come the Milfords back from their sniff at the golf club. Wait for it. Slam the doors. Thank you. Now the garage doors. Thank you. Shut up! Some people are trying to get to sleep. Reggie, you'll wake the neighbours. They are the neighbours. I don't want to offend them. They were very nice about it that time you parked on their front lawn in the fog. <laughs> Sorry. Good night. <laughs> Good night, darling. Good night, darling. I am sorry about tonight. It doesn't matter. You were tired, that's oh, For all. God's sake, don't be so understanding all the time. Don't you understand how annoying it is always to be understood? I know. I understand. <laughs> Good darling. Briefcase. Good darling. Now, remember to ask CJ for a whole month off. I will. Have a good day at the office. I won't. Morning, CJ. Morning, Reggie. Here's a day. Thank you, CJ. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Reggie. Uh, what was it you wanted, Reggie? Well, I want a holiday, CJ. Yes, yes. I need at least three weeks. Uh, why three, Reggie? Well, so that I can work with even more enthusiasm on this wonderful exotic ISIS project. Yes, it's a portrait. Three weeks been up here. Yes, thank you, CJ. That's very good. Thank you, CJ. Morning, CJ. Uh, CJ. 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 Mm. Stupid name, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Iolanthe Perry. There's a reason for mine. I was born during the Clinthorpe Players' production of Iolanthe. <laughs> sorry, Roger. No, uh, uh, sorry, nothing, Peter. No, I just. Uh, uh. <laughs> a year later, I've been Reginald Pirates of Penzance. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Jim. Morning, Mr. Uh, <laughs> Eleven minutes late, defective junction box, New Malden. Oh, oh, that reminds me, Colin Edmonds from Admin rang. It seems you have the wrong kind of hat stand. Yours has four pegs. Sir? It seems you only have entitlement to a three peg stand. Ah, uh, no, oh my God, is this the beginning of the end? Food firm executive found hanging naked from a minute hand of Big Ben. I'm only a three peg man, he cried. <laughs> 
and Tony Webster are coming in any minute to discuss the uh, trial sales areas of exotic ices. Good, good. Oh, my God, I haven't even worked out their areas yet. Uh, quick, quick, uh, John, maps, maps. Uh, uh, Lancashire? Uh, that's it. Uh, it's, um, uh, waste paper basket. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Tony's area. Uh, Hartfordshire. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, no, no, handbag, please. <laughs> Well, we've chosen the areas for the new sales campaign. Here they are. Uh, Lancashire, Tony, David, Hartridge. Great. Super. Nice. Now, these areas have been selected. <laughs> All right. These areas have been chosen by the computer from information fed to it from our market research preliminary breakdown survey. <laughs> Great. Super. Oh, I see, yes. My area takes in all the new towns in a sort of wedge, shaped like a giant handbag. <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's it. Super. Good. Um, just one point. Yes. Well, 20% of my area seems to be in the sea. <laughs> Spotted it. Very good. Excellent, Tony. Very, very sharp. Yes, yes, quite right. Lots and lots of trawlers, uh, tankers, liners, dredgers, submarines, Isle of Man ferries. Whole, whole new sales area breaking totally new ground. I see. Yeah, that's great. Ah. Super. Good. That's it. Off you go, lads. Don't let the grass grow under your feet. No time to waste. Good. Great. Good. Super. Let's get rid of that. Now let's finish last night's letters, shall we? To the uh, manager, get it quick, Supermart, get it quick house, 77 Car Park Road, Birmingham, uh, 5BL, E43, 5RS, HBD, 2441, 5 5BK. Yes? <laughs> Yes. Th thank you for your comments of the 27th out. Uh, your complaints about late delay are not only completely unjustified, but also ungrammatical. The fault lies in your inability to fill in an order form correctly. You are, in effect, a pompous, illiterate baboon. You're straight <laughs> <laughs> Mr. are you feeling all right? Yes, absolutely topo. Never felt better in my life. In fact, I was only saying last night, Joan, to my wife, how... Um, how well I've, well, and I say you're feeling well, I've not been, uh, <laughs> I've not been, uh, been sleeping too well, and I don't, I don't seem to be able to, um, if anybody wants me, Joan, I, I shall be down the corridor seeing Doc Morrissey, extension 242. <laughs> uh, uh, come in. Oh, uh, Reggie, come uh, and sit Doc. down. What can I do for you this time? Well, it, it's um, it's not exactly for me, Doc. It's for uh, it's for uh, it's for uh, it's for my friend. Uh, Joan, feeling chesty? Oh, <laughs> no, no, it's a male friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 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 rather personal, and he can't uh, he can't talk about it, and he's um, he's too shy to see his own doctor about it. Well, and what seems to be your friend's trouble? Well, um, I, I, he, um, uh, well, it's. Uh, it's about, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, lately, he hasn't been able to, um, as it were, <laughs> very much, <laughs> if at all. I see. And how long hasn't he been able to, uh, as it were, very much, if at all? Well, uh, he, he, he didn't say exactly, but I got the impression fr from what he said that it was approximately in the, uh, in, in two months and three days. <laughs> Uh, how old is he? Uh, Forty-six, is he? Yeah, Same as you. Forty-six-ish. <laughs> Married, is he? Uh, presumably. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, with, with two children, both left home. Uh, rather like you. Uh, yes. <laughs> work? Uh, with, uh, rather like me, actually. Uh, similar sort of work. Similar, 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 similar sort of work, really. Uh, I see. Well, uh, tell your friend. Uh, oh, will you be seeing him? Uh, yes, may even be seeing him today, funnily enough. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, so there's nothing to worry about. He's perfectly natural. Probably overworked, overanxious, needs a break. Oh, oh good. That's a great relief. <clears throat> to him. 
<laughs> if it was you, I could give you a chit for a month's sick leave. Oh, yeah, that'd be marvellous, Doc, yes, that'd be nice. Yeah. Pity it isn't you, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that, that is a pity. <laughs> right. Right, thank you, Doc. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> you've, uh, you've eased my friend's mind a lot. Good. <laughs> So, uh, so, so this sort of thing isn't entirely unheard of, then? No, I'm afraid not. I've got a friend who hasn't, as it were, very much of a tall for five months. <laughs> Are you sure you want to send this letter? Hmm? Yes, why not? Don't you think pompous, illiterate baboon is rude enough? Ah, send it. <laughs> yeah, tell the truth for a change. Oh, ah! Coffee break. Now, what do you want, Jane? No, it's my turn. No, yeah, no, I'll do it. You did it yesterday. Yes, well, I'll do it again today. All right, just a coffee. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Peasley, come in, come in. Two coffees, please. Two, uh, two cream horns, two pieces of Battenberg. Oh, thank you, no, please. Oh, no, I'm sorry, sorry. Four cream horns, uh, six digestive biscuits, two slices of dirty, and eight pieces of Battenberg. Oh, make up your minds. I don't want anything to eat. Yes, sir, well, I, w I want you to have them. I want to give them to you. Take them home with you. Uh, Mrs. Peasley, I'll take the lot. Oh, all the cakes? Yes, the lot. The biscuits, the cake, the lot. Well, you can't. I'll have nothing left for the crumble department, nothing left for flans and accounts. Let them eat bread. <laughs> well, you can't have the last piece of Battenberg, because that's spoken for. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, is it spoken for? Uh, who by? Mr. Norris from Crumbles always has a piece of Battenberg for Friday. Mind you, he cuts the marzipan off and gives that Deirdre with a wart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Mrs. Peasley, but ordering is not allowed. You may remember in 1971 I asked you to reserve me a macaroon. You refused. No, it's not exactly. <laughs> Dad, it's more of a gentleman's no, I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Peasley. I'm not a petty man, but if Mr. Battenberg can have his Norris, I don't see why I shouldn't have my macaroon. <laughs> I don't want anything anyway. I'm sorry, Miss. Here is a fiver, Mrs. Peasley. Keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get you a nice box for them. Wonderful. And you can reserve a macaroon any time you want. Can't wait. <laughs> eh? I really like it. Oh, go on, go on, live a little, eh? <laughs> Mr. Perrin. Yes. Well, I've worked for you for eight years. Do you mind if I say something? <clears throat> that sounds rather ominous, Joe. What is it? Well, I think you need a holiday. Oh, God! Everybody seems to think I need a holiday. Oh, good evening. Here is the nine o'clock news. Today, Russia invaded China. Richard Burton married Elizabeth Taylor for the seventh time. And in the Commons, the Prime Minister told the House that Reginald I. Perrin was in need of a holiday. <laughs> God! You see, I need a holiday. Well, go in and ask CJ. Will. Damn well will. You'll get him for me, German, would you please? Now, I'll tell him I want to see him immediately. Oh, hello, C.J. Mr. Perrin for you. <coughs> uh, C.J., Perrin here. Yes. Perrin? Perrin Rich? Yeah. Now, <laughs> C.J., I... Yes, C.J. Exactly, C.J. He wants to see me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, make him sweat outside the door. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Always pays to make them wait. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come! Ah! Reggie! Sit down. Oh, thank you, CJ. Be firm. Be masterful. It's only human. What? <laughs> uh, nothing, CJ. No. <laughs> uh, funnily enough, CJ, I wanted to see I'll come you. straight to the point. I didn't get where I am today by waffling. Uh, no, CJ, no. Never use two what? words where one will do. That's my motto. That's my axiom. That's the way I look at things. Uh, yes, CJ. I wonder, CJ, while I was Would here... Would surprise you to learn, Reggie, that overall sales in April across the whole spectrum were down... 0.1%? Uh, no, not particularly, CJ. I it's don't say to you, Reggie, the... pull your socks up. I say to you that overall sales in April across the whole spectrum were down 0.1%. I leave you to draw your own conclusions and pull your socks up. Uh, yes, CJ. Well, I didn't here, get where I am today without learning how to handle people. No, CJ. I give them a warning shot across the bows, but I don't let them realise I'm giving them a warning shot across the bows. Uh, yes, CJ. Not that I want to be entirely surrounded by yes men. <laughs> no, CJ. <laughs> so my message to you is this. Go full steam ahead on the exotic ISIS project. This is the big one. I want reports daily. Absolutely, CJ. Daily! Yes, well, certainly, CJ. It's all well in hand. Well, what do you want to see me about? Be firm, be decisive, be masterful. What? Well, what is it? Be master. 
I want a holiday, CJ. I want a holiday, and I want it now. Do you now? Ah, uh, yes, CJ. I really must ask you for at least four, four, four well, uh, not less than three. Certainly not less than three days. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad time to ask. You can't spare me. Yes, I quite understand. I just thought while I was here, CJ, I would uh, breathe. Long weekend? No, absolutely impossible. That's the question. I quite But thank you anyway, CJ. Sit down! <laughs> You're on edge. You need a holiday. Hey, yes, that's why I asked you for one, CJ. Impossible. I'll tell you what we'll do, though. We'll compromise. I didn't get where I am today without learning how to compromise. <laughs> Take the afternoon off. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. I don't know what you do at the weekends, Reggie. But take your wife into the country for a quiet couple of days, just the two of you. You'll return a different man. That's what Mrs. C.J. and I do, and we return different men. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. I will, CJ. Middle age can be a difficult time, not but that we're one of those dreadful firms that squeeze a man dry and then abandon him. We value experience too highly. Goodbye, Reggie. Oh. Right. You're home early? Yes. Oh, nothing wrong, is there? Uh, no, no. Why should there be? No, no. Oh, I haven't been sacked. Sunshine desserts aren't going bankrupt, and I wasn't arrested for plunging naked into the fountains of Trafalgar Square. After all. <laughs> no, why should uh, why should anything be wrong? Oh, I don't know. I just thought maybe it's because you're home early. Uh, I mean, you usually come home at the usual time. Yes. <laughs> Did you ask CJ about the holiday? Uh, yes, yes. Isn't that the watering can we got at Epsom? Well. <laughs> no what? How did it go with CJ? And the holiday? Oh, very well. Very well indeed. Very, very well. Yes, I've got the afternoon off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind, darling. Was a... Well, never mind. Nice, long, quiet weekend, eh? Well, don't forget we're going to see Mother on Sunday. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes, well, never mind. We'll have a nice, long, quiet tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so just the two of us in the country. Eh? A walk, a beer, beer, walk, beer. And I'll cook us a lovely dinner tonight. I've got a nice piece of fillet steak. Ah, lovely. And this afternoon we'll do absolutely nothing. And after we've done that, we'll do some more nothing. <laughs> oh, no. I'll go. I don't care who it is. I'm not coming in. I'm sorry, we don't want any today, thank you. Reggie. Oh. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Come in. Your brother. Oh, hello, Jimmy. How's hello. the army? Mustn't grumble. Uh, drink, Jimmy. Ten past three, almost tea time. Whiskey, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no beating about the bush. Bit of a cock-up on the catering front. Muddle over shopping. Fact is, right out of food. Just wondered if you'd got the thing. Just bread or... Something. Pay, of course. I wouldn't hear to it, Jimmy. Oh, thanks. Decent of you. Wouldn't have asked any kiddies yelling, general hoo-ha. Bit of a cock-up over pay. You know, wifely ructions, storm cones hoisted. Oh, yes, of course. What would you like? There's some bacon and eggs, uh, Danish salami, uh, um, half a loaf, uh, carrots, oranges, sprouts, um, two pork chops, a uh, piece of fillet steak. Yeah, that lot will do fine, thanks. <laughs> right. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> well, how's how's the world of puddings? Oh, fine, wonderful, Jimmy. I can't say. Good. On duty tonight, tactical exercises. Burnt cork on face. Africa represented by Bagshot Heath. British parachute into Ascot. Communists hold Camberley. Chinese frigates off Woking. <laughs> yes, that sounds fun. <laughs> Going on leave soon. Need a holiday. Oh, yes. Awkward Johnny's holidays. German barber at a camp I was at once, B-A-O-R 23, didn't have a holiday for three years, went bonkers, became convinced he was a deck chair. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, 
Morning, Hans. Short back and sides, please. And he said, no can do, but you can sit on me if you like. <laughs> yes. Oh, visitors. No. Bad luck. I'll go. Tricky blighters, visitors. Never know when to leave. Always outstay their welcome. Yes, some of them do, Jimmy. Yes, another drink before you go. No, almost tea time. Besides, mustn't drink and drive. Very wise. Same again? Yes, please. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Hello, darling. Hello, Uncle Jimmy. Hello, how's my favourite niece? Oh, I've just cycled over. I'm so hot, I'm sweating cold. Nonsense. Still, the exercise will do me good. I'm carrying too much weight. Nonsense. Yeah. What's the matter with the car, then? Tom's crashed it. Stupid nit. Oh, dear, dear, what a shame. <laughs> yes, he was showing a client round a house valued at £42,960 and he drove straight through the bow window of the dining room. Treacherous chaps, cars. Here we are. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Uh, literally saved our bacon. Uh, uh, Tom's crashed the car, Mum, and we'd promised to take Adam and Dracasta to the safari park tomorrow. I was wondering if you and Dad could take us. They're so uh, looking forward uh, yes, to no, it. Yes, we'd love to normally, Linda. Yes, of but, course uh, we will. But, uh, but of course we will. Oh. Yes, of course we will. That's what I said, of course we will. Well, I must be off. Tempers is fuging away. Tat are all. Tar for the nosh. Nonsense. Toodle pip. TTF, then. Eh? Would you like a cup of tea, Linda? Oh, no, thanks, Mum. I've got to rush. I've got to pick up the children. They're finger-painting in Mrs McPherson's spare room. Lucky old Mrs McPherson. Thanks very much. Good luck tomorrow. Bye! Do you think I could have a cup of tea if you haven't posted it all off to your mother? <laughs> I'm sorry, but he is my brother. I fancy that steak. No. I'll get a Chinese takeaway. I don't want a Chinese. I don't like warmed-up haystacks. <laughs> <laughs> In Climthorpe, I don't think we're adequately insured, are we? <laughs> How, by the way, shall I phone the Ponte de Lice male voice choir over you? What for? To invite them on our quiet day out tomorrow. I'm sorry, but what could I do? Adam and Jocasta are our grandchildren. God, it's going to be a month's holiday, now what is it? An afternoon stifling in a safari park with, with Linda, that bearded wonder of a husband of hers, and those damn children. Reggie, for shame. You'll have a lovely time. You'll see. Say about a yak. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? The cars are all moving around in hers and all the animals are parked. <laughs> <laughs> a waste paper basket. Look, zebra crossing. <laughs> uh, uh. What's that? The starling. Because I'm hot. It's like a Turkish bath in here. Open the window. You're not supposed to. It's dangerous. What did you and Linda have to eat yesterday? Squid with garlic. Why? Just wondered. <laughs> We're approaching lion country. Close all windows. Ah, so we could have had the window open. Sorry. If in trouble, blow your horn and wait for the white hunter. Lions soon. Why are lions? Why are lions what? Why are lions lions? Because they come from other lions. Why aren't lions ants? Because they don't come from ants' eggs. Why am I me? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Dad, please, I must ask you not to do it like that. I dump biggies. <laughs> That's not the right way to say it, Adam. It's I've done biggies. <laughs> Let them talk the way they want to, Mum. Well, they should be held to speak correctly. They might want jobs with the BBC one day. Yes, and the BBC newsreaders all say, I've done biggies. It's just <laughs> our own way of them up. We treat them not as children, but as tiny adults. Oh, shut up, you bearded prick. Reggie! <laughs> if Dad feels like that, he should get it off his chest. Sorry, but why am I a bearded prick? You really want to know? Yes. <laughs> 
Because you have a bright red open plan finished playpen, you put supposedly witty house adverts in the Cookham and Thames Ditton Chronicle, you brew your own parsnip and nettle wine, you smoke revolting briar pipes, you built a gothic stone folly in your garden, and you called your children Adam and Joe Castor and made them eat garlic bread the moment they were off the breast. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Move on, darling. I'm not moving on till you start enjoying yourselves. <laughs> All right, it's a failure. I'm a failure. Everything I plan's a failure, but we're here now, and I'm not moving till you bloody well start enjoying yourselves. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up! Please, stop making a spectacle of us. Oh, yes, you hate that, don't you? Not in front of the children. They're not children, they're tiny adults. Well, not in front of the tiny adults, then. Please, darling, move on. Well, not till you start enjoying yourselves. We are enjoying ourselves. It's a marvellous oh, outing. Oh, all right. <laughs> Last bloody thing. Hate cars, I hate bloody machines. I dump poopy props in my panties. It's I dump poopy props in my panties. Yes, I don't know. I wonder if you really think that was a good idea. It's going to get a bit uncomfortable for you later on, you know. Not just for him. <laughs> this was supposed to be an outing. I think on reflection, the safari park wasn't a very good idea. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, I think that's, that's very helpful. Yes, it's, it's hardly started yet. We've got the monkeys on the roof to come yet, rubbing themselves against the aerial, doing their poopy props all over my roof. <laughs> Say that. Lions aren't nice. We want them to grow up to see reality as it is. Ah, uh, but is it? Is what? Is reality as it is. Well, of course it is. Don't be absurd, Dad. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sterling Moss. <laughs> I've seen livelier lions in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> oh, God! Lines won't move, cars won't start, hold her. Hell with it, I'm going out. Is that altogether wise? <laughs> Look, the animals are all probably doped. In any case, I am going out, all right? Into a world blessedly free of garlic and sweat and poofy plumps, and if you don't know that, <laughs> you can stick it in your pipe, shove a bulb of garlic up here, and drown in your own natural wine, all right? <laughs> Reggie, come back! <laughs> I understand. Oh, 